Flash, who's made a loser's bracket run pretty deep now, is looking to fight into this top 16 loser side with Vega. Uh, both of them out of the U.S. It's going to be Balrog Vega, as I just mentioned. But the thing about this matchup, to keep in mind, right, Balrog sort of, uh, you know, down on the, the footsie side of things here. He's going to have to kind of find his way in. Yeah, Dash Punch is going to be a good option. But Flash, he has all the ranges covered with Vega normals, right? You see him staying to Clawed Vega. A lot of people will switch to Clawless. Uh, but I think he wants the extended range on the normals. Yeah, he's tried already forward pierce a couple of times. Crouching strong is another good poke. Stand strong. Yeah, stand these, medium punch is great. These are, these are tools that you can use to keep Balrog out, and I think that's super important in this matchup, to keep Balrog out. If Vega gets caught, I mean, he's in bad, bad, bad business. Right, and so far, Javi's done the, you know, better things to get these little situations that work out for him. I wonder if Flash now will maybe turn on a bit more since the neutral is, is kind of not playing out 100% how he'd like. Yeah, just the dash in with the B skill after. Counter poke from Flash. Flash fighting from the corner. Man, a good anti here so far from Javi. He's had one miss where he just wasn't ready, but now the pressure. Oh, uh, just, just missed space. And I think he thought he was going to get trigger. He was pretty close. Oh, you know, you're probably right. But he's probably he, looking for trigger. Yeah, he couldn't trigger off the slide. He did it maybe too late or didn't have it yet. I think he built it right afterwards. So no trigger for Flash. Couldn't get it off the slide. That would have got him out of the corner. Now Clawless from Flash, so maybe a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Oh, sick. I love that whiff punish. Into the setup. Nope, just pretty uh, safe stuff. Rolls him yes. out. You have slower V reversals, so you can see it often. I mean, you can just OS it, too. Yeah, exactly. Whip punish again. So now the range that Flash has picked, I like a lot more. Walking backwards out of the range of Balrog. Look Bar at this again. So the switch, I thought he was going to stick with Claw because it seems like the zoning body. But uh, instead, it's Clawless. Yeah, this is the stance he seems more comfortable in. I like that the range that he's picked is better. I think he could have done the same kind of idea with the other stance. But obviously, this uh, Clawless has the target level medium punch. Right, it Roundhouse. has extra damage, of course. Yeah, yeah more damaging options, right? Uh, you sacrifice the range, but if you're going to be whip punishing anyway, right, uh, outside of range and getting that target combo, why not take it? So Clawless again for Flash. Just gets caught by that low from full screen. One of the Balrog's better tools. So fast. And Vega just wants to walk backwards, right? One thing about Vega, you always know, is he'll block one thing and then just start walking back because he wants to abuse that walk speed Ooh. to get out of the range. The whip, but no whip punish from Javi. Always got to pay attention to that. Throw was early for Flash. Meaty dash punch. It is safe. Oh, I would have thought that uh, Stan Shrunk could do it. I guess it, I guess it was meaty enough, huh? Yeah, meaty dash punch, safe. It's, it's uh, oh, wow, pressure. Still Plus, advantage, yes. Yeah. But now, Flash yeah. finds the way out. And we're back to this ranged game. I wouldn't imagine Javi would go in too hard right now. He has a big life lead. And he's been great on anti airs. Oh, oh yes. punish. That time he was paying attention for it, and he got it. Yeah, you can sort of just input it no matter what, right? Like, yeah. you kind of just, you wait, there's a timing where you input it. If he does regular medium punch, nothing will come out. If he does input that roundhouse and whiffs, you'll be okay. I like the spacing that, that Javi decided. You know, the, the second round, right, Flash had tons of whip punishes on those dash punches and, and things he readjusted. But Javi in the third round stopped going to that, and he sort of changed his game plan to not allow Flash to punish things that were just a bit overzealous from him. Oh, yeah, but about meaty dash punch, right? If it's counter hit, uh, so you do back throw dash punch, it's safe as a meaty. Ooh, didn't if, it, see the hit. if it's counter hit, you can combo after, so it's a pretty good meaty, pretty common for Balrog. See, back Flash throw. now trying to whip punish with Stan Fierce with the claw. The range is just not there, though. Yeah, now he's adapted to go claw again, as you know, he tried a couple rounds without, but this is looking okay so far. I'm really interested to see this back and forth, this, these different styles out of Flash. I'd love to talk with him later about why he chose one at one time and the other at the other. Yeah, he's played four rounds so far, and it's split evenly between Claw and Claw. Right, right. And this is looking like a great Claw round for himself. I think it's it's just this, yeah, interrupt too. It's just the spacing that Javi is picking, right? If if Javi sees, all right, he's just going to play this range game with the Claw, now I can dash punch him. But, you know, if he starts to just try to do that, then, you know, he goes back to Claw less and then starts whip punishing with a target combo. So it, it's probably just about where Balrog chooses to be on screen. Oh, punish. oh, yeah. No, didn't get it on time. I didn't think he expected the latter half of that roll to miss. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure Flash didn't either. Right, of course. Flash caught. I like that range by Javi. Uh, oh, okay. firm. Yeah. Great because he'll get a chance for setup here, but also moves him out of the corner and gets some big damage as well. That said, Trigger's ready now for Javi, which means he has a ton of damage available to him. If he's going to get the chance, I don't know. Yes. No. 
doesn't choose to spend it yet. He has all kinds of uh, space oh, yeah. to work yeah, with. Yeah, that was the buffer for it, for sure, right there. Now, he, ha he has super, he has trigger. I mean, he's two hits away from taking this round. My oh, God. instead it's flash! Who gets a quick game for himself? That was super fast, uh, and I like the adjustment a lot. He played both Claw and Clawless a pretty even amount. Uh, and, and it really feels like he got comfortable in the spacing in this matchup and understanding where he should be. The first game he was kind of trying to figure it out. Yeah. Now he seems comfortable. Yeah, I agree. And with both Claw and Clawless. Important to be able to do that. Yeah, trying to play a stance character and knowing not only which stance you're in, but the options in each one is its a lot on the brain. I really like what they did to Vega, just as an aside. It's so, so, cool. so interesting, though. Okay, Javi slowly pushing Flash backward. The anti-air, it's trade, but I think he'll take that. As long as he pushes the opponent backwards farther, that's the goal. And a lot of this match has been fought in that corner. Right, and Flash is just waiting. He cor he'll corner it. When he's in that corner, he'll wait until Javi's in a range where if he jumps over, it's cross up so he can get out. Flash has never been afraid to fight from the corner. I remember in SF4, he thought that Zangief in the corner jumped back Fierce was the most broken option in the game. Yeah. He would specifically put himself into the corner, and guess what? He got that beta Evo doing that. Yeah, he sure did. Two medias in a row. Javi didn't believe. Trigger pops. Oh, oh out of range, yeah. Bro was a bit early, probably. Love the counter poke. Okay, now the mix-up. No, interrupted with Stan Short. He knows. He so does. Baro can beat that if he goes for the swing, right? He can do V-Skill into the punch. It's pretty unsafe. Right. Uh, you it's know, a call out. Four. Yeah, it's, I mean, only minus four is not super duper unsafe. But it, it's, it's you know, knowing that your opponent's going to hit butt. Yeah, it'll, it's punishable by that stand short. Like that jump timing. That was real good. And he let Flash whip his own and then got in. Exactly. Now he's looking for the counter poke. He's controlling this corner again. Again, I feel like this has been so much of the set. Fighting from this corner. But consistently, Flash has been able to get out. Punish. It is there. Not a lot of damage. Flash knows he has super ready. I'm surprised to see Flash so consistently pressing buttons after EX dash punch. That has frame advantage for Balrog. Yeah, it's just the plus one. So if he hits jab and you hit... Uh, oh, it should be critical art? Is might be that. We'll see if it's I enough damage. I think that's it. I think it should be that. It is. And there it is. Flash moves on. He's now in top 16 losers. As we mentioned, this is the last match of top 32. So now into that top 16 